Here we want to solve natural log of 3x plus natural log of quantity x plus 2 equals 0. The first thing we do is we use the properties of logarithms to combine these natural logs. And this is always the approach you take with these kinds of problems where you have separate natural logs added, added or subtracted together that you, you're trying to solve for x. You first use the properties of logarithms. What those tell us is that this becomes multiplication inside a single natural log. Okay, equals 0. Do another parenthesis there. Okay, so this becomes natural log of 3x times x plus 2, all equals 0. All right, now we have it inside a single natural log. Next, we convert this to exponential form. And when we see natural log, it's really log base e. So we could think of this as log base e, base e of all this stuff. So now to convert it to exponential form, we take our e, okay, we go around to the exponent, to the power of zero, and then back inside for the equals. Okay, so equals 3x times x plus 2. Now e to the 0 is 1. Anything to the 0 is 1. So we have 1 equals 3x. I'm just going to multiply this 3x through. 3x squared plus 6x. Now anytime you see an x squared, you should be thinking you want the other side of that equation to be 0, because it's probably going to be a quadratic or something like that that we need to solve. So here I see the x squared, that immediately tells me to subtract that one from both sides and get 0. So 0 equals 3x squared plus 6x minus 1. Okay, so now we have a trinomial here, or a quadratic equation that we need to solve. I do a quick mental check, right? So I'm mentally trying to factor this and noticing that it can't factor. We have a trick though, when it doesn't factor, that trick is the quadratic formula. So solving for x gives x equals, okay, negative b, so negative 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's 6 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 1. Okay, all that's under the radical, and this is all over 2a, so 2 times 3. All right, so now we just need to work this out, so let's get it done here. 36 plus 12 inside the radical over 6. Now, a common mistake here is saying, oh, the 6 and the 6 cancel. Don't do that. That's wrong, right? You either have to cancel it in both of them or neither of them, or you can break these up into two separate things and cancel that way. But right now, when the 6 is combined with both these terms, don't just cancel it with one of them, right? Right now, this is applying to both the first and second term on, in the uh, numerator there. Okay negative 6 plus or minus, well, this is 48 all over 6. So I'm looking for a perfect square inside of 48. So you might want to do a factor tree here. Um, hmm. Well, that's 4 times 12. 12 is 4 times 3. Ah, there's a perfect square. So if we, if we can look at this as 48 is actually 16 times 3, and 16 would pop out as a 4 in the front. And we take that square root, so this is negative 6 plus or minus 4 rad 3 over 6. And now we're ready to simplify. I'll break this up into 2, so negative 6 over 6 plus or minus 4 over 6 rad 3. Final simplification, negative 1 plus or minus 2 rad 3 over 3. Now, one last thing. Let's go back to the original question here. So scrolling back all the way up to the beginning, remember that the domain of log, right? Uh, let's see. So the domain of, let's say, natural log of x right is 0 to infinity, right? Negative numbers can't go into natural log. A good way to remember that is to remember what the graph of natural log looks like. 
right? They always look like this, meaning there's there's no way we can put a negative number into it. It's just not defined for negative numbers. It's not even defined as zero. It's asymptotically approaching zero, but it never hits zero. Thus, if one of our answers is negative, we have to toss it out. Okay, in this case, all right, you have to look at your original question to see, but here we have three times something, three times x. So if x is negative, we're putting a negative inside the natural log, which we cannot do. Back down to our answers, look, one of these answers, negative one minus all this stuff is gonna be negative. The plus all this stuff is gonna be positive, so we just need to get rid of one of them. So our final answer is negative one plus two rad three over three.